Maria has sworn that nobody will rest in that house, including her husband, Mr. Kenneth. Maria welcomed him with a splash of water and she was ready for the worst to come. At this point, Mr. Kenneth was totally confused. He knew that his wife can make troubles, but he has never seen her go as far as pouring water on him. Mr. Kenneth called Maria out to tell her how she has carelessly succeeded in tearing apart the love they had and the home she was supposed to build. Now after the marriage, Maria would always tell Mr. Kenneth that he should stop disturbing her, that she did not marry him to become a house help to him. Mr. Kenneth started listing out her bad characters to her. Before the marriage, Maria could not eat food without Mr. Kenneth. Even if Mr. Kenneth happened not to be around, Maria would wait until he is back. But after the marriage, everything changed. Now Maria has stopped eating with the husband. Maria has stopped serving the husband food. It is now the duty of Jennifer, her sister, to serve Mr. Kenneth's food. If Jennifer is not around, it will be up to Mr. Kenneth to go to the kitchen and get his food. Mr. Kenneth reminded Maria how he has been there, taking care of her anytime she was sick. He has rejected multi-million naira contract to be with her in her sick bed. But when he was sick, reverse was the case. Maria left the house for the whole day, leaving her sick husband at home with her sister Jennifer to take care of him. Jennifer has been there taking care of Mr. Kenneth with joy and happiness. With pure and incorruptible heart, Jennifer stood by Mr. Kenneth every second of the day, making sure that he took his medication at when due. Mr. Kenneth kept wishing his wife could learn from her sister Jennifer. He was ready to do anything for the wife as long as she would come back home and do the necessary things she was supposed to do as a wife. There is no doubt Mr. Kenneth might have wished he married Jennifer instead of Maria. At this point, there is nothing Jennifer will open her mouth to request from Mr. Kenneth that he will not do. Mr. Kenneth loved his wife, but I don't think that will be to the detriment of a peaceful home he had always dreamt of building with his wife. Mr. Kenneth kept going down by day, praying and wishing that the wife he married would come back to whom she used to be. But the more he wished and prayed, the more things are torn apart before his face. Maria would always stand at the entrance of the house waiting for her husband to come back home from work. She would give him a welcome kiss, took his bag from him, remove his suit and led him to the bathroom for a cold bath after the day's stress. Then the dinner would follow. But today, that lovely atmosphere has vanished into the air. Jennifer has been the one filling the gap since she came to stay with them. Maria will be inside her room and order Jennifer to go and welcome the husband every evening and serve him food if he wants to eat. Today, Mr. Kenneth was amazed the kind of care and welcome given to him that evening by Jennifer. He wondered who taught her to do exactly that way. If you ask me, I think Mr. Kenneth loved that gesture. The heat is still on as Mr. Kenneth and his wife Maria we are still ironing out the issue at hand. Mr. Kenneth was really unhappy as he reminded his wife what she has been doing that was killing the love they had. Today Mr. Kenneth was taking his bath when the tap stopped running. He called his wife to get him water to wash off soap from his face but his wife decided to send her sister Jennifer claiming that Mr. Kenneth was disturbing her peace. And Jennifer innocently moved to the bathroom to fetch water for Mr. Kenneth to continue his bath. Imagine that level of temptation and carelessness. 
Mr. Kenneth added that his wife has become like a stranger to him and like a terror to her sister that she beat her at any slightest error. She would beat her as if she was a thief. And any time Mr. Kenneth suggested that she should send Jennifer back to her parents if she didn't like her to be here, she would be mad over that. She would always insist that Jennifer would not go anywhere. She would always say that she carried Jennifer when she was a baby, that it is now her turn to serve her in her home. She said that her service was not over yet. When Mr. Kenneth decided to send Jennifer back by force, Maria said that if Jennifer is sent away, that she would pack and go too. This is a part that would always piss Mr. Kenneth off. Maria would not take her bath for the whole day. She would sit in the living room watching television. She would only take her bath if she wanted to go out. But as long as she has no way to go, she will take her bath only at night. She never cared if her hair was smelling or her clothes dirty. This has kept Mr. Kenneth away from coming closer to her. Mr. Kenneth was really getting tired of everything because this was not what he saw before he married Maria. Mr. Kenneth told Maria to learn from her sister Jennifer, but Maria insisted that Jennifer must leave the house since she wanted to take her husband away from her that she never knew that her plan was to come and chase her away from her husband's house by being caring to her husband maria went ahead to throw jennifer away from the house she told her that her plan will not work for her that she should go and look for her own husband and marry and leave her own for her but Mr. Kenneth went to call Jennifer back to the house and gave her the right to stay in the house as long as she wanted to. He told his wife to come down and learn from her sister and insisted that Jennifer must not go. The fight is still on in Mr. Kenneth's house. Jennifer is going nowhere and Maria is afraid she might be losing her husband to her sister. Mr. Kenneth would not let Jennifer go because in her he found respect and care. As we continue to follow this case, let me leave the audience to advise this family. What are you going to do if this case comes to you to handle? Please help us to pass this information around by sharing this video. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell for you to get our videos each time we post new videos. See you next Friday. Thank you for your support.